In this video, we'll look at ECHA 2020, section 1, question 35. So we have to find a complete set of values for x, for which x to the power of 4 plus 36 is less than 13x squared. So what will be our first step in solving this question? Well, let's rearrange it to get ourselves a nice polynomial. So we can take 13x away from both sides. We're going to get x to the power of 4 minus 13x squared plus 36 is smaller than 0. So now we have something we can try and factorise to solve. So how should we go about doing this? Well, because we have no x to the power of 3 or just x terms by itself, this indicates to me that we're going to have a bracket with x squared minus plus something times another bracket with x squared plus or minus something. So we can treat this just like a quadratic, basically. So the trick to do this is I want to find something uh, two numbers that are factors of 36, so times together to make 36, but also add together to make minus 13. So what are the factors of 36 we could be looking at? Well, from our answers, we know it could only be uh, some of these four numbers. So which two of these go times together to make 36 and add together to make minus 13? Well, we know 4 times 9 uh, makes 36, and they add together to make 13. So we're going to have the minus versions of these two. So we can write that out in our brackets, x squared minus 4 times x squared minus 9. So now we can just solve these through. So we're going to have x squared minus 4, and x squared is less than 4, and then our x equals um, these two here. They're going to be less than minus 2 and bigger than 2. And we can do the same for our other one. So x squared minus 9 is less than 0. We could follow this through to get our answers. x is larger than minus 3 and x is smaller than 3. And if you're ever wondering or stuck about which way these equality signs go, let's just draw a little graph out. We can see that our uh, x squared graph has to be less than 0. So we want these bits under our graph here, that's less than 0. So you want the ones on this side, so that's bigger than minus 3 and smaller than 3. So now we have our two answers. We can just write those as nice inequalities. So minus 3 has to be smaller than uh, minus 3, bigger than minus 3, sorry, and smaller than minus 2. And it has to be bigger than 2, but smaller than 3. So those are our two answers. And so our final answer is G.